Five on the shot clock inside. And Garantes with the block. And a shot clock violation. Another outstanding defensive sequence. The defense is has always been key. And Garantes, even against the six foot three center. In the corner, three point shot dances off the rim. Wiener had a good look at it. Here comes Rutgers on the run. Garantes flips up ahead. It's right up and in. Everyone's got at least one point guard, right? And she's one of the best 20. It shows you how good she is. Stolen by Takia Mack. Lightning quick and lays it in. Good passing here by Mammoth. Blocked underneath by Singleton. I blocked twice. I think Arantes and Singleton both got it. Johnson for three. Yes. Yeah, no question. Wisconsin, they have been tremendous on the glass. They're third in the Big Ten in rebounding right now. And they have four of the top 18 rebounders in the conference. Three of those four turnovers have come by steals here for Rutgers. And you see the quick hands. There's a fourth steal for the Scarlet Knights. Garanta is trying to hunt down her first bucket, and she gets it. And I think that's a smart move just to get them recalibrated for the second quarter. Ooh, 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 Broughton bringing it. Well, they call her Zippy, mm, and she zipped. That gave her some confidence, too. I think he was probably saying, hey, when you score, you you play at a high level of confidence. You know, the turnovers, that can deflate you quickly, especially when you have seven and a half. Oh, Garantes, she's not just a... Maryland defense forces a turnover. Rutgers throws it away. There's Katie bends in, and she throws it away. Myel Giles steals, puts it up, and scores! Five minutes of offense so far this season for Myel Giles. Fortuitous there to pick it off and finishes through the contact. Rutgers matching up very nicely with Maryland early of getting back down the other side of the floor and, and covering up for the mistake. Wusu has it knocked away by Giles. Another outstanding defensive play by Myel Giles. Broughton dishes. Garant is a long three is good. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Lewis dribbles down, blocked by Singleton. First season as a starter playing more minutes than ever before and a big defensive. She must have worked on that J all summer because it's money from the top of the key at the trail break position. Arguably the most improved player in the program. Now a steal, far sideline. Myel Giles will take it all the way for the easy uncontested. Far left corner, it's moved along to Naz Nagatu. Swung around near left corner, Sweeney. Up top, the pass deflected, another steal, Martino. Martino by a step ahead of the way, goes up for the scoop lamp and banks it in. Near right wing, swung around. Goes back to the far right wing, Mason drives the lane, puts up the shot, rejected by Garantes. So she didn't get let down by being starting off 0 for 5 because she's 3 for 3 here in the second half. Far right blocks, Mills, a turnaround shot, rejected by Garantes. Up ahead, the ball outletted, and Myel Giles running the floor, lays it in. After a split against LIU earlier this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, across the lane, Wooden, and her shot rejected. Either Marshall or Walker. Dabney being harassed out there by Taya Singleton, and then that pass knocked away by Garantes, restolen by Sacred Heart. Up ahead, Dabney has it blocked from behind by Singleton. She got beat on the block, and so instead she decides to front the pass and knock it away. And Arella Garantes with a smooth shot on the baseline, stolen by Johnson. Didn't use the dribble there. Knew she could get to the rim without taking, putting the ball on the floor, and she did. Walker with a rejection underneath, just swats it away. Stolen by Broughton. She lays it up and in.
Uh, yeah, but, and, not, and a totally different player. It's one one player eight inches taller than the other. But it, but, but you, at least you remember her. Here's a steal on the inbounds play. Rutgers is going to get a layup as Johnson with injuries. Cravens to throw it in. It gets pressure. Dangerous pass. Gets knocked off the shoulder of Annika Stewart fortuitously to Giles, who lays it in for Rutgers. And you mentioned that stat earlier in the first half about leading the Big Ten Conference and forced turnovers per game at 23. So... Defense has been big. Knocked away by Mack from behind. Johnson with a behind the back pass to Fakia Mack. Lead. Diamond Johnson with a sizzling offensive performance. Rutgers up 69 57. 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Cornhuskers. Here's Bourne dribbles in as it blocked from behind by Giles. Beautiful play by Myel Giles. I think it's really important that she can score at all three levels. If you can knock it down from three, knock it down in the mid-range, and also attack the basket well, then you can be really successful and useful for teams to make a roster. Johnson with the pick and the take, and she draws the foul. And get the steal, though, to start. Yeah, quick hands, picks the pocket cleanly, goes pretty much coast to coast, a little Euro. Ooh, I like it. looking to attack and Giles meeting her those quick hands that time it was Walker with the swipe and Garantes once again got away with the travel there but here's Rutgers once again turning them over running hard I love this baseball pass up ahead by starting in this quarter and I think sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to get used to that blizzard defense. It's a little bit funky sometimes, but they've been doing a great job of finding people along the baseline. Singleton might be the MVP for Rutgers here today. A very solid defensive team. They force you into a lot of mistakes. A beautiful look down low. Dion doesn't go up strong enough. It is blocked. Blocked again, that time by Garantis. Here to start the second half from Scarlet Knights and... There's Brooke Moore getting blocked by Garantes, but there's going to be a foul called. Here's Jasmine Powell, the outstanding sophomore with the basketball for Minnesota. Drives the lane, has it stripped away by Takia Mack. And Rutgers with that outstanding defense, creating a turnover early. Diamond Johnson by Cattell Inich. Laura Bankwell, Cattell Inich, transfer from Cornell. Now she takes it as a block from behind by Garantes. Just a couple of minutes at the beginning of the game, but then sat out most of the first half. But she is out there now. Five and a half minutes, especially with how much she has played, but I don't know if, if C.D. Stringer will put her back in the game with how well she's played, and Rutgers seems to have this game pretty much in hand right now. I mean, we've talked about Caitlin Clark and her ability to flat out score the ball. Diamond Johnson needs to be in that conversation as well as a freshman. And that's where Illinois is going to get in trouble. The turnover by Janae Terry on that one. And Illinois coughs it right back up. Here's Johnson. Gives it up to Mack and it's a transition two. Five second differential between shot and game clock. Trouble here. Three seconds on the shot clock. You got to throw it up. Singleton was waiting. Boy, was she waiting. Looked like Doubleton right here with the two-handed block. Oh, it was like a beat beat with the ball. I was going to say, that's a typical Arella Carantes day. You know, you wonder, oh, coming over for the block with authority, Cornwell. And her teammates love that. You are not. China Cornwell, oh, denied and deleted. And her teammates. <laughs> And whether that's a post posting up or whether that's a guard posting up, that time, Christy, it was Takia Mack trying to post up Michigan State. The quick hands here from Johnson who will lead for an easy two. And they switch off on Garantes, and it's Bostic who is wrapping up Garantes. Fantastic defense there. And Johnson with yet another steal. Diamond Johnson, she's going to pick grapes cleanly in the open court and take it the other way for an easy deuce for Rutgers. That's their M.O. Oh, quick hands, quick feet, give me that ball. We love the feistiness of the freshman. See, Michigan State is over here offensively to begin the third and Singleton with the stuff. Why she is great at protecting the rim. Clean block, all ball. 
Marisa, by the way, no points still for Penn State. And another turnover here for the Lady Lions. Make it 10 here for the game and off and run in the transition. Giles has uh, kind of revamped herself as a shooter the last two games, coming up big from beyond the arc. She was two of four from three. IQ to understand angles and understand the velocity of which you have to shoot something like that. Garantes is the force to be working with offensively. Giles is having a field day. For the Scarlet Knights, number 13 and white on your screen. Does a great job. Really important for his team today to take care of the ball and own the glass if they're going to get the W. Off the steal, Garantes, a sweet time dropped in the basket. Good, we're tied at two. Defensive plays to start tonight, Christy. Well, if you follow Rutgers, you know it's defense first and foremost. Active hands, active feet. Kia Mack connects. And expect Rutgers to mix up the defenses, active and disruptive. Two steals in a row now, converting into points. That leads to easy transition points. And then they mix up the defense with a trap. You can't dribble through a Rutgers trap. Boy, boy you're talking about a Maryland team that they only score 80. It's an off night offensively for them. I mean, it's <laughs> capable of putting up big numbers every night. And speaking of big numbers, you have to talk about Caitlin Clark. Another one-and-done opportunity here for Rutgers, and off and running is Iowa. Looking towards Sonano, Johnson with the speed will take it in, and it drops home. That's right. It gets hectic down there in the paint. Johnson, that little Euro step in the reverse balls.